Hi, this is Maria Corey, and I am in group three, and I'm here to share my findings for my observation assignment and my questions that are remaining. I think the best way to do this is to share my questions because they really help summarize what I learned. My first question is, what types of new and innovative programs are being offered to children and young adults in libraries? I came across a few really interesting programming options like Girls Who Code and Makerspaces, and I would really love to learn more about the new programs that are being offered in libraries. To learn about this, I would probably explore websites of various libraries, and if one library has a particularly robust programming offerings, I would contact that librarian and learn more um, about those programs from him or her. My second question is, how can libraries reach more children and families? I believe that a lot of children don't go to libraries because their families don't go and they do not bring their kids. Uh, so how can we change this and what sort of outreach can be done? I would probably, to answer this, speak with children's librarians at various locations to see what sort of outreach they do and what they have considered doing but haven't been able to accomplish yet. My third question is, how can library staff share best practices? In my observations, I saw some really great stuff being done in libraries by librarians, so I want to know how librarians are sharing with each other to share their resources and ideas and what works and what doesn't work. Talking to librarians about this would probably be the best way to start, and I would also explore ALA to see what avenues they offer for librarians to connect with each other. My fourth question is, how can libraries meet, reach more young adults? There are a lot of populations of young adults that do not use the libraries. The homeless, the incarcerated, people who do not read English. So I'm interested in examining how libraries can partner with local nonprofits, youth detention centers, and schools to get more young adults in the libraries, or at least using the online services the libraries provide. Speaking with staff at organizations uh, like the nonprofits and schools would be a great starting point to get their perspective on how we could work with them. Finally, my last question um, comes from the fact that librarians that I found, by and large, are white females. So how can we overcome this lack of diversity in our staff? Is it a disadvantage to men or to people of other ethnic backgrounds? To answer this question, I would do some research to see what's already been published on this, because um, my thought is that there's been a lot of people who have already looked into this. Um, so I would hope to do some research to find out how we could overcome the lack of diversity in library staff. And those are my five questions.